Hey guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four who is in our sixth year of homeschooling. I have a fifth grader and a first grader. And today I wanted to share with you my first thoughts on the Michael Clay Thompson program for language arts. We have started using the island level, the very first level. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I can be found either down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Today, I'm talking with you about the Michael Clay Thompson program. So, this is one of those things that you see mentioned like a lot, but kind of always on like the periphery. Like, I feel like you hear about so many, and, and you know, part of it is like secular, non secular. So, like, you hear about like the good and the beautiful, non friggin' stop, right? Yes, okay. Um, I was not familiar with any, I mean, genuinely, probably any language arts program. We did use MozDOS for, so all about reading, right? Love all about reading. Used all, well, we started with our Texas Tech program and then we used all about reading level two and three. Yes, level two and three, four are my big kid. And then we, no, just level three. Just level three for my big kid. And then we transitioned with our toe doodle kits as that's what they included next to Mazdas, literature-based program. So we used Mazdas Opal and Mazdas Ruby. So we used two levels of that. And then this year in branching out, I decided to give a try to the Michael Clay Thompson program. It is marketed um, to homeschoolers and to public schools, but as a program for advanced students. And now I would not say that my students are advanced. That's not by any means, but I just liked, like the more I learned, the more I liked about what it included. Now, there are so many things out there um, in doing research, there's so many things, a lot of literature based things and things like that. And I just don't feel like that um, is what I want, I guess. I don't want a lot of heavy reading from me, maybe. I don't, I don't know what it is that turns me off about a literature based program. I honestly don't. I don't know why it doesn't appeal to me, but it doesn't. So we haven't done that yet. We are doing the island level, which is their first level. And we are doing that because despite the fact she's done, you know, levels three and half of level four for large first language lessons and things like that. I thought it would be really nice because my question was doing island level or t I think second level was town level, which which way to go. And I went ahead and started her back um, just because I wanted to get the foundation in this specific program because it kind of carries the same same manner all the way up. And so it was really important to me that we start at the beginning. Um, and so what we decided is that because I did purchase them on Amazon, so I was able to do like Kindle instant download, at any point I can do that with the next set. So I figured I'd go ahead and do this, get into it, see how it feels. So first impressions are, we really like it. We do really like it. I am letting her go at her own pace. So first impressions, I like it. It's very thorough and yet somehow not too meaty. And I don't quite know how to explain that. Like it is very deep, but it's not very wide. I don't, I mean, like, I don't know how best to articulate what I am saying. Like it is a lot of information, but in a small package, maybe. Like it's not, they don't just harp on it, harp on it, harp on it, harp on it. Like they give it to you, but it's exactly what you need to know. And then we move on. Um, and there are activities. So let me explain how we're using it. So what we're doing, it's all Kindle books. So I will on the, I bought the complete package and then I was fortunate enough. I think they actually have it on their website now. So you don't have to go through this whole hoop of fire like I did, but I purchased the whole package. I reached out to them and let them know because they had already asked them like, how do I get the plans for how to do this? And they said, if I bought the whole package, then I could email them and they would send me the thing to let me know how to do it, which I do have. So like the lesson plan essentially. Um, so I did that, but again, I purchased the whole book package, which I purchased on Kindle and I'm a book kind of gal. So I'm adjusting 
but you save so much money, so much money. It's like half by purchasing the eBooks versus the print books. And so, and not to mention like the full set is like 12 books. Do I need 12 more books in my house? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Do we need more things to try to find a home for and then try to move on to the next happy lives after we're done with them? No. So I am not sad about it. I am adjusting to it. So I'm doing the best I can. But as we're reading along, if it's an activity page, she'll screenshot it on the iPad. And then let me see if I can find one to show you. And then we use the Apple Pencil and she will just edit it, do everything she needs to right on the um, right on the page. I'm going to see if I can find it because it's I mean, they're pretty cute. OK, so like on this one, she did like a story maker and then she oh, that's for the other kid. And then she th did like a like a. Um, I drew a sheep up in the corner. It's so cute. Um, anyways, so that is how we are using it. And first impressions are that I like it very much. I did go ahead and make her for the eight parts of speech and the five parts of little like matchy flashcards, which I thought was pretty cute. Um, and then we do have it printed up in the back of her little like binder. And so we do have the lesson plans for that. And what I'm doing is just letting her go at her own pace. So if it doesn't take her an entire week to reread a section, I'm not making her take an entire week to reread a section. I'm letting her go as fast or as slow as she wants because most of it is genuinely repetition because she should theoretically be more advanced than that. So I'm interested. I'm excited to come back and give you our eight week update to let you know how things are going. Um, she already has done a, a good bit of writing. I like we've introduced. So, so far, we've only done the grammar book and we've now made it a smidge into the vocabulary book with the way that they because you start them at different times. You don't open every book every day. So, so far, it's going pretty well. I'm liking the sentence analysis. I really am. I was not prepared for the practice sentence book to literally just be like a list of sentences. And then the instructor manual has the blank. So there's only one blank. So I'm going to, again, put that in the iPad, let her do the, any, anyway. So we are adjusting. I'm letting you know how it goes. She's made it now to like the three. We just started the third level analysis. So not to the four part yet, the third part. So. So far, nobody is like out of water. Nobody's out of depth. We're doing pretty well. I like the vocabulary book so far. It's a lot of they're teaching vocabulary by just giving you a lot of information like about the world, which I really like. Like she had to write a little paper on Italy, which I thought was really nice. Um, so it's new. It's fresh. It is intense, but not hard. I don't, I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It is a lot, but not too much. So I like it. It's new. It's crazy. I'm getting there. It's feeling it out. So I'll be, this is just first impression. I'm excited to come back and give you more information. Like once we've used it a while, I'll let you know. If you have any specific questions or any guidance to offer, um, please write them down in the comments. Let me know. Uh, if you've done this before, let me know. Um, let me know what to expect because so far, again, I'm liking it. I think I feel pretty good. We're okay. So. That is, um, that's it, I think. That's pretty exciting. So I hope you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up. Oh, and the books are pretty. They're really pretty. And I, I like the way they're written. It's, I like it. I do, I do. And I feel like she's getting good stuff out of it. So I don't know. I'm excited for the update. I'll keep you posted, guys. Bye.